Why has he half a load of this game? Does he set my settings up? Yeah, me. Well, I mean, I died, I mean, I only did, like, Gun to Conquer, and that's all. And that's not a very fun game, so. And also, I'm probably gonna die near that place, because that's when I did it. I died a total of 15 times. Yo, I mean, 15 times. Because of one reason. Death Star. And, well, I'll just show you the mission. And the reason why I was able to beat it. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. I'm so proud of her. Good old USA. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Oh, sounds like someone made a stinky. I shall attend to young Shaw. Hmm. Abraxo, you know, for all your first. cleaning needs. It's really good with Sean. Enjoy your coffee, sir. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. <laughs> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? 
<laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. Can you get that? Good morning. vault calling. Go on. Nice to find you, sir. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Uh-huh. I just need to verify. We might mess up. Oh. Tell me more about this. Oh, it has a better... Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. Splendid! Wonderful. Uh-huh. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. <sighs> Never gonna find that dog. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking... Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We we're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost what contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have. We do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate. 